One of the really fun things about the cavalcade of comedy is that the folks on the show are invited to stand in the lobby as you come in and again as you leave, which means we get to talk to each other. I don't know about you, but I really enjoy that. It's a lot of fun for me, but the fascinating thing is that I began to notice that before the show, people asked me virtually the same questions. So I thought we would save a little bit of time today if I answered some of those questions, because when you leave here, you'll be going to lunch. And I don't want to keep, not after I saw that donut crowd this morning. <laughs> I don't want to keep any of y'all from being late. You don't like to be late to lunch, I can tell that, sir. You don't miss lunch very much either, do you? Is that it? <laughs> I hear the questions like, is your family tall? Have you always talked like that? Were you really Miss North Carolina in the Miss America pageant? I really don't appreciate the way some of y'all ask that with disbelief. <laughs> I have pictures. And of course, because of my height, I always have people comment about that. They come right up. Some of you did. You say, Jeannie? Actually, you say, Jeannie? <laughs> when did this happen? This being tall. Y'all come over here and look. She looks taller than she does on the video. Man said to his wife last night, well, honey, on the video, she's only about five inches tall. You have to understand these things. Well, the answer to when did this happen is that in the seventh grade, at age 13, I was the exact size that I am standing right here today. We grew up in the 50s. My mother was five feet, five inches tall. Both of my sisters, five feet, five inches tall. They were like little bookends. <laughs> and as I said, we grew up in the 50s. Some of you did too. You know who you are. So do the, all right, all right, the 40s weren't bad. That was when it really was. I tell you what, Bob Eugene, the 20, 20s weren't bad either, were they? Is that it? Are you with me, Bob Eugene? And I don't know about you folks, but during that time, Mama made almost everything we put on. And she had a challenge, because what she really wanted to do was buy one pattern and use it for everybody. But it didn't work that way when you had this six foot two person standing there. You know how you would cut it and add tissue paper and make it big? We live in a little town. I grew up in Graham, North Carolina. But we get the same magazines and always have they got into big places like Charlotte, <laughs> Raleigh, Hall River. I'll never forget the day Mama read in one of those magazines that she could change our size by the way she dressed us. Like if you put a black belt with something, it would cut your height. I'd be leaving the house in a swimsuit. <laughs> Mama would come running up and say, I think a black belt would really look good with that. <laughs> and then one day she read about stripes. She read that if you wore stripes going up and down, it made you look taller, sure, and if you wore stripes going around, it made you look shorter, but she couldn't pass up a good buy. Out at one of our outlets, she came upon a boat of red, white, and blue striped material on sale. She bought the whole boat, <laughs> brought it home, put it out on the kitchen counter, got out those clunker pinking shears that will break your foot to this day if you dropped them on it and cut out two dresses for my sisters with the stripes going up and down. They put them on, and in front of my eyes, shot up to seven foot three. <laughs> I thought, she keeps cutting in that direction. I'm going to look over nine feet tall. <laughs> but Mama turned that material. She cut out a dress for me with the stripes going around. From below my neck to below my knee, I was like one of those big spinning tops. You remember? <laughs> If somebody could have come up behind me and gotten their hand on my head and done like that, I'd have just spun right up the whole sidewalk. 
And the three of us put on those dresses and we went downtown together. We walked toward merchants and they got dizzy and had to hold on to the wall. It was April and people thought the 4th of July parade had hit town. <laughs> and Sunday we wore them to church. Now I didn't see this, but they tell me that a woman in our church who didn't see well, the day after we'd worn them to church, went downtown and passed the barber shop. <laughs> and looked up at that striped pole and said, Good morning, Jeannie. 